travel. You have a lot of stuff. You want somewhere to put it, did your research, and now you like the look of Peli. Peli. Peli Air? Peli Air Travel? What are the differences? Then you see the price and wonder, ah, should I even bother? So here we have the 1650, a 6.4 kilogram award-winning gear case, and its little sibling, the 1535, weighing in at only 4.7 kilograms. Interestingly, this special edition 1535 only costs 10 pound less than the 1615, but it's less than half the capacity. We'll get into that. Now, if for some reason you wanted both of these cases, the retail price is almost a thousand pounds, tax included. Business purchasers can obviously make a significant difference by removing this tax and will be the main method of acquiring products like this. I got the 1615 for 350 pounds, retailing at 441, and this 1535 for 250 pounds, retailing at 430. Both brand new. Some tips on getting a better deal, going second hand, checking Amazon warehouse for pre-imported items, or getting lucky on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, Craigslist, as some examples. Now, investing in these cases might not make you rich, but they do hold the value well. Think about the mass production aspect and the market getting overwhelmed. It's about understanding their longevity, especially with their durability. In the UK, the supply doesn't meet the demand on the second-hand market, but the price is still from a point of contention which makes reselling them a challenge, unless you're willing to take a big loss. So let's be real. I'm not taking them on a global adventure, going down rapids and climbing mountains. I just want something reliable and that I only have to buy once. With this, you're not just paying for the case. You're investing in the name, the reputation, the marketing, and the warranty. And of course, this goes for every product out there, every well-known uh, brand. But in this case, it is quite a significant markup. Now, why am I making this video? Well, beyond all the technical details, these cases are a lifestyle item. They have a unique aesthetic that sets them, and therefore you, apart. And it even influences their value, especially the travel editions. For example, the orange 1615 is much rarer and the demographic is therefore smaller. It does mean that you'll stick out more and whether that's something you actually want is a question you have to seriously think about. Let's quickly zoom in on the 1535 travel edition. So it's a special edition that weighs the exact same as the 1535 Air but has different paint, TSA push pull latches plus key, interior lid organizer and two pretty cheap feeling packing cubes. This upgrade is also available in the 1615, but increases this 441 pound case all the way up to 640. Is it worth it? Retail, I would argue no. You can build these aspects for yourself much cheaper, especially combined with a second hand case. But the color is the main thing people pay for. Design matters, and in both of these cases, ha ha, we aren't just talking about a box, it's an experience. It's a purchase that poses questions about consumerism and ego. Are you really the person that likes to stand out at the airport with a 450 pound case? Lastly, I just want to say something about gear. You can look at these cases in isolation as we have and as objects singular in their use. How good are they at holding things? How inconspicuous are they? How secure and durable are they? Yeah, sure. But also, when you're looking at something this expensive, you really have to think about the reason you're buying it. Is it so that you can be seen on the side of a mountain when you're rescuing people? Or is it because you want to look cool? I think as utilitarian as these cases are, 
they are definitely also a fashion statement. And that can get you in a lot more trouble. If you're looking at Pelly Air and you see a Pelican case on the side of the road, you, it pretty much comes with a guarantee that there's something in there worth stealing. And for that reason, for my use case, I'm not going to take these cases to hostels and to hotels or, you know, I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving them unattended. If your suitcase makes you buy locks and makes you want to put it in a locker, then is it really more safe than having it in an inconspicuous Samsonite or just a black Brig and Riley? I think security can only go so far and there's many locks and padlocks and stuff you can put on the case and it keeps all the stuff inside it safe. If it becomes and turns you into a target, then is it really worth it? In conclusion, whether it's the 1615 or the 1535 or the 1620 or anything in between, these Pelly Air cases are more than just protective gear. They're a statement. As with all gear, it's not just about the objects in isolation, what they look like and how other people perceive them, but it's about you building a personal ecosystem of harmonious items. Thank you.